I'm Joshua Bardwell, and today you're going to learn what a few of my favorite tools are for working on quadcopters. This is another video in my recent, is it a series? Well, I don't know. It's not a series yet, but if I keep doing it, it will be a series. Series of videos focused more on people who are new to the hobby. There's a whole lot of things that those of us who have been doing this forever just take for granted and don't even think about. But people who are new to the hobby might need some help with. And one of those things is getting your tools, getting your basic tool set, uh, and, you know, getting it all together. What I'm going to show you today is my favorite screwdriver, hex driver, and nut driver set. Let's take a look. So the first thing I'm going to show you is these hex drivers. Uh, these are a fantastic set of hex drivers. Uh, they, they're, the tips are very well machined, very precise, very sharp. They grip the screw very well, and they haven't uh, rounded off or anything like that in all the time that I've had them. The only complaint that I have about them is that the little rubber nub that goes into the end uh, it comes out it's not it's not sealed in there at all it's just friction fit and they pop out really easily and i fixed that by taking some foam tack or it's very similar to rubber cement if you don't have foam tack any kind of sort of adhesive that'll stick to plastic rubber and metal at the same time and it, it's held them in and they've been great in all the time that i've had them the other thing that you could know about them is that the bits are held in with a set screw and uh, over time I have had the set screws loosen up a little bit. A little bit of blue Loctite fixes that and they've just been absolutely rock solid ever since. And for a price of 15 bucks for a set, very, very well priced as well. The next thing I want to show you is this nut driver assortment. Uh, now, frankly, only about two of these are actually used commonly for me on, on mini quads. One of them I use for motor screw motor nuts to basically put props on. And the other is used on the M3 nuts uh, that are commonly used on a copter. But there's a few other sizes in there as well. The reason I focus on this one is that most of the nut drivers you find, I find, uh, out there are designed for much bigger, they're designed for like a big toolkit, wrench it on, lawn mowers and chainsaws and I don't know what else. So finding a nice smaller set that fits more into a, a you know, mini quad toolkit was a little bit challenging. And also many of the bigger sets are very, they're much more expensive. So this set is not perfect. I, I especially for the one that I use for the prop nuts, I kind of wish that the handle was a little bigger so I could get just a little bit more torque, but overall for a price of 14 bucks for the set, uh, this is really, I think the best deal you can find. And then finally, we come to the screwdriver set. And again, there's a real balance here between what your you know, price. If you're willing to spend a lot of money on a set of precision screwdrivers, you certainly can. One of the challenges was that many of the precision screwdriver sets come with much smaller screwdrivers than I really need. I like the fact that this one has basically two Phillips and two flatheads, a, a little bit bigger one and a little bit smaller one. And I've been using this pretty much exclusively for, well, I purchased it on February 27th, 2017. So pretty much exclusively since then. And I've found that these screwdrivers do everything that I need to do on my quad. Uh, it's unfortunate that it comes with the hex drivers, the Torx drivers. I have never used those. And in fact, I took them out of my toolbox because I was so tired of going in to get a Phillips head and accidentally pulling out the Torx wrench. I never, never use them. I just took them out. I got rid of them. Uh, this one is about uh, 20 bucks. It's 17 bucks. Um, and I, I when I was searching around for some screwdrivers for my quadcopter toolkit, I thought that this was the best balance of what you got for what you paid. You can find other kits with much smaller screwdrivers, sometimes with much larger screwdrivers. This is a good size. I, I just think it's a good balance. And that's going to bring us to the end of this video. It's a short one today. If you're just getting started in the hobby and you're trying to get your toolkit together, I can hardly recommend all of these. They're well worth the money. And in fact, in my opinion, they're the best value for money that, that I could find. Uh, if you can find a better one, leave a link down in the video description. No, in the comments. There is a link down in the video description to these things. It's not an affiliate link or anything. It's just a link there to Amazon. Uh, I don't really like to do affiliate links most of the time. Uh, I'd just like you to come back and watch my videos. Uh, that's going to do it for today. Thanks for watching. And as always, happy flying.